morning guys welcome back to the off-grid cabin build vlog here in our homestead in north idaho we've been blessed today with much warmer weather it is it's a lot warmer last night sleeping was a lot warmer than it has been but we do have a lot of rain coming up here soon and so we need to finish getting this roof dried in guys we only have a little bit left to go basically we just have that dormer right there it is about Mm, almost 10 feet wide the roof overall so we got to get that guy done today and then the underlayment on it the water and the ice shield and then that um we're using a what is it let me show you here synthetic roof underlayment this is it right here it's got like a cloth finish on this side super non-slip and then the back is as a black woven material there you go and that's the front of it right there and so we're using that we got to get it done today before like mm, four o'clock or maybe three o'clock because we have bible class tonight oh by the way if you guys are ever in sandpoint you're looking for a church we meet on wednesdays for bible study and sunday mornings for worship at the sandpoint church of christ there's a link down in the description of the video but let's get to work. Hi, Heather. Hi. That's right. <laughs> Finished school. Almost. Just Almost. some stuff with mom. Some stuff with me? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about this whole roof? It's pretty cool looking. Yeah. Good. This is the last section right here on the dormer. Awesome. You mean like just the dormer? Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. The ice and water shield and the underlayment. Wow, we got to finish sheathing this section. Yeah. And the underlayment on all of it. All right, we're making some really good progress. It is lunchtime now. Check out what we got done. Bam. The dormer is almost all the way completed. Yeah, we doubled up on the vapor barrier where we have an ice and water shield at the bottom. Then we doubled up and went over it again with the synthetic um, vapor barrier. Just to double that up, this is the lowest slope roof. And I'm thinking we may put some snow cleats on it so that the snow won't actually slide off. Um, but we'll see about that later. That's down the road. Um, but we're going to take lunch and then we'll finish and the roof will be completely dried in by the end of this video. Tell them what the tricky part is though. Yeah, the tricky part, right? So check it out right here. We've, um, we've got to close up this, which is our access to the roof. <laughs> So we close this up, we wrap it all up, and we button it up. How are we going to get down? <laughs> yeah, because we're kind of high. Like, how many feet? I don't 20 know. 20-something? Really high. <laughs> so we've got to figure out a way to get down. I have an idea. We'll see if it works in the video. Coming up. Okay, you ready for me? Ready. Okay, paper first? Yep. Okay. Coming Thank you. Thank you. Okay, then we'll take the long the long piece of uh, OSB. Okay. For this side over here. Oh, wait. It needs to go on this side over here. Yeah. Long piece? Yeah. Thank you. 
All right. Cool, man. How's it looking? Good. How's it looking to you? Nice. Awesome. That was the very last piece of OSB sheathing for the roof that I just handed up to Marty. So he's going to go ahead and go nail all of that down and put the underlayment on as well. And then we'll wait for Marty to come out through this window. He's got it harnessed. He's wearing the harness and he's got it strapped off here. I love how so many of the trusses have Marty's name on it. Marty needs a hammer, so we're gonna get one up to him. So this is how you're gonna come down. Yeah. So he's got this ladder, so I was actually wrong. You're not going through the window, you're gonna come down through here. Perfect. Yep. All right, let me get it tied off. Haul her up. Finished, eh? Yep. Woo! <sighs> He did that pretty fast. Yeah. Since I do want to take this tape off of here, it didn't really stick. The tape didn't stick. Yeah, it was just an experiment to see if we could seal these with the house wrap tape. Yeah. But it doesn't really stick very well. That's a bummer. So, I mean, it's not supposed to leak anyway. It's just an extra precaution. Yeah. I'll pick that up later. <laughs> well, good job. Looks amazing. Well, guys, the roof is dried in just in time for the rain to start. If you'd like to see more about what's going on here on our homestead, there's a video right over there that you might have to go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling. And I'll see you right over there in that video in just a second.